Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us here at CCSC. Welcome back to our new Washington, D.C. build on our Green Plains map. Uh, in the last episode, we built this small little fishing village over here. Uh, we are going to now grow that small little fishing village in this episode. Welcome back to CCSC. Please like, share, and subscribe. We have an industry area back here behind the highway for our small little town so far. Uh, we have a very nice, long, round commercial district and residential surrounding on all sides. Uh, in the last episode, we went ahead and expanded our city a little bit and started a new township over here. Uh, we have not grown it all that much. First thing we're going to do is section this off into its own little town. That way we can implement specific policies for this maritime area. And we do want to make a few changes. Victoria Square. Uh, we do want to make a few changes to this area. Because one, I want to add a fishing farm. A fish farm. Um, so we are going to move the fishing harbor and we are going to add the fish farm. And the reason we're going to move the fish farmer, fish harbor is because if you put this fish farm here, it gets in the way of the roots uh, for the fishermen to go out and go fish. So the very first thing that we're going to do in this episode is move this. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> we're going to relocate this down to here. And then we're going to have to rebuild all of our um, traffic routes. So we can go ahead and delete these. And we're just going to make them bump back in over to where our new location is. Um, so let's see. This can curl around there. Let's go with the curve tool. And this can curl around here. And we're going to leave a little bit of space in case we want to add another fish farm eventually. Let's see, can that just go straight in? Yeah, that can just go straight in. And there we go. Now that is back to pretty much what it was. It's got a nice route going up and down the river to collect, I believe we are tuna. Yeah. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and these. And we're going to add the fish farm somewhere down here. And I'm thinking like that. That looks good. Uh, you can see the fish farm has three little rings out here. And those were going to get in the way of the uh, roots for the fishermen. So we've got a fish farm down now. And we just need to connect it. Uh, I want to delete a few of these roads. And kind of make this look a little bit different. Man. Kind of like that. That's what I was thinking. Let's see. Can we bypass that? Yep, we can bypass that. And then let's go ahead and bypass this as well. Let's see. I'm going to have to delete that first. Yeah. Oh. So now you can go bypass. You can bypass the fishing farm and, or the fishing harbor, uh, and just go straight up this road if you're coming around. And we deleted a little bit of our residential sections. Let's get that off of there. Uh, we deleted a little bit of our residential sections. However. Uh, I think these are okay. They're not too close. However, I do want to add some residential as well. Uh, we need to take advantage of this coastline and get some houses over here. So I'm going to add a street like this. And I'm also going to go ahead and connect this because they almost look like they'll go in a circle. So why not just make them go in a circle? Come from this way. And there we go. There's the node we want. 
Now, we can add a few more streets back here, but I don't know that we're necessarily gonna do too much of that yet. Uh, we will add a couple, because we have a bunch of area back here. Uh, but we don't necessarily need to grow too big yet, so we're just gonna add that for right now. Um, and that gives us plenty of space to go ahead and grow this city. Let's extend the electric over. And, oh, we need to connect this. These aren't connected. There we go. Uh, and I believe we can go ahead and hit play now, and we'll bump this up to three times speed and take a look at our city. Uh, as you can see, if you go to your inspector tool, this little symbol here, not enough fish. Uh, we don't have enough fish at our fish market. Not a good thing. However, anything like that in, in city skylines, no matter what it is, if you don't have the resource, your city will automatically ship in the resource. Not that that's a great thing. Um, you would rather use your own resources, but, you know, it is what it is. If you don't have it, they will ship it in. So let's go ahead and look at our fish farm here. Uh, make sure it is operating correctly. And it looks like it. We've got seven workers out of 26 so far, so that should add a little bit of industry to our area. And we may add another one later down the river, but for right now, that should do it. We've got all these people coming into their new homes, new areas of living down in Victoria Square. We may change all of these names, none of these names, I don't know. But for right now, it is what it is. Victoria Square is starting to work, but you can see we have garbage problems everywhere. So if you go to Triangle on PS4 and go to your info views, you can go down to this little trash can here. You can see garbage production, 120,000, and garbage processing capacity, 48,000. So we need a few more facilities. Uh, I did discuss about moving this road over. We're going to pause real quick. Uh, nitpicky little things, I know, but, uh, you know... I like my cities to look how I want them to look. So let's go to the straight tool. And we're gonna come all the way up here and then over. And I believe that we can waste some money here and move this down and make this look a little bit more uniform. Waste some more money and move that one down. Then we're gonna go ahead and hit play. And we will add a couple more recycling centers. Uh, we do not yet, ooh, that's not perfectly on the grid. Hopefully that'll work. We'll add one there, and one there. Looks like we moved too much, but that's okay. All right, so we've got four recycling centers now, and the reason we added another recycling center is because we haven't even unlocked the incineration plant. The next step is unlocking the incineration plant, and then after that, you can unlock this, which is perfect. This is a part of the Sunset Harbor DLC. I don't believe, yeah, this, these three are all uh, original gameplay. This is Green Cities. And these two are part of the Sunset Harbor DLC. This is a waste processing complex. This is what you actually have in your hometown. This is real life waste management. You have a waste transfer facility and you have a waste processing factory uh, complex. The waste, waste, uh, waste processing complex is a giant complex that does everything. That sits way outside of your city, uh, out here, you know, and then you put these little bitty transfer facilities in your city, uh, but, we don't have those options yet, so no reason to even bother mentioning. Uh, we are going to run this episode up into our next milestone of Big Town. We need to reach 7,500 citizens, uh, and we are at uh, 900 less. So we can go back and check our garbage now and see how we're doing. We could add even more recycling centers, and I believe we're going to. Uh, we're going to add a couple more. And I think we're going to come from this end. That way they all line up. And hopefully there's still a little bit of space here. We'll add a couple more and then see what that looks like. Now we're at our processing capacity is 144,000. And our production is just right underneath it. <laughs> we're getting there. Uh, we will need to add another one very soon. But for right now, that'll hold us over. We do have almost a half a million dollars. Uh, so I do want to add something that's kind of expensive. We need something in these towns. Uh, but I don't really want like to add all of these because these are actual landmarks in other places. Uh, the city hall doesn't look too bad. Um, I don't think we're going to add a football stadium yet. Hmm. 
Mall of Moderation. We could add that. Uh-oh, we got some crime over here. Let's let's divert our focus here. We need to add the amenities. We need to continue with what I said we were going to do and grow this uh, Victoria Square over here. So we're going to add a police station, not a police department or police headquarters. We're just going to add a police station. Um, let's see. I think... Yeah, I think here. That's fine. And we're also going to add fire. So we'll add police there. We will add a fire department, fire station firehouse actually we'll add that there and that'll get everyone covered with uh, police and fire uh, we already have a dead body over here we may want to add our own separate cemetery over here um, hmm maybe buy the fish market I guess maybe we could put the cemetery way out here hmm what do we think what do we think um what is, let's go check this cemetery first. Let's see what the capacity is here. Oh, that is not it. This is it. Uh, yeah, we have, we only have 760 out of 3,000. So we're just gonna leave the cemetery. That one should keep us going for a little bit. Uh, the coroner just needs to get on the highway and get across town. It'll be fine, hopefully. Hopefully we won't lose that business, we'll see. As you can see, we have no residential demand. We have about half a bar of commercial and half a bar of industry. Let's check on this. I want to make sure this is working right. Uh, still no fish. Growth stage, one of five. Um, 26 workers out of 26, though, so I think it's going good. And you can see all of the fishing boats going up and down. And another reason I wanted to move this is because it was very high up on the shore over here. It was sitting on this platform over here uh, and was way too high uh, next to the shoreline. As you can see, when if, if we can watch a boat come in, yeah, you see the boats just, you know, spawn there, but they're still, they're way lower than the dock. You wouldn't see that. The boat would come up to the side of the dock, you know? <laughs> uh, but it's a video game, you know, you, you don't pay too much attention. And I'm not too worried about, uh, I'm, I'm not too worried about, you know, people really looking detailed into that. Uh, again, nitpicky thing, you could go in, you could landscape this land, make it all a lot lower and get it all very close to the ground, but I think we're good for right now. We do have a fire. We have a burned down building up here. A couple burned down buildings. Yet the one in the middle somehow survived. Fair enough. Um, we need to go to our policies. Uh, yeah, okay, nice. My apologies, we could have done this a long time ago. Um, so implementing policies, city policies, you can either implement them city-wide or district-wide. Uh, if you want to implement something just district-wide, you just go to the um, your inspector tool, go over Grove District, and then go to policies here. And you can just implement certain policies for this area. Like if you wanted this area to recycle, or this area to focus on parks and rec. Uh, or this area to be schools out if it's a lower income area and you just want all of the people there to work in factories Schools out remove remove schools. They don't have to go anywhere and then they can just you know uh, Go go work in a factory small portion will be eligible to go to university anyway uh, we are going to Implement policies for the entire city now. This does cost a little bit of money But as you can see we are making eight thousand eighty one dollars per turn uh, 8,400. We're going up and up and up. So it's going to go down. We're going to take a hit here, but we're going to implement smoke detectors. Smoke detectors are key for a city. Uh, they, so many fires happen in these cities. More fires than happen in real life. I guarantee it. So many fires happen in these cities. Uh, we're going to implement smoke detectors. This is five cents per building upkeep. We're going to do this, and then we're going to exit out, and I'm going to show you how quick this 8,400 drops. Only five cents per building, but look at all of the buildings we have. That's every single house, that's every single commercial building, that's every single industry building. Uh, so a lot of times whenever you implement, you'll, you'll get excited and you'll go through these policies and you'll implement a few things and then you come back and you're losing $10,000 a turn because you've spent way too much money on it. Uh, so we're going to start by implementing just the smoke detectors. And I want to check our residential. We have plenty. We have plenty of residential for people to move into. All right, let's get this uh, 
coastline developed over here, though. And we can delete that. And as you can see, we're down to $2,200 already. That's five cents a building. Now we're starting to go back up. Our taxes are starting to kick in. Uh, whenever you go into your economy screen, we've gone over taxes in previous episodes, but you want those at about 12. If you need money, you can raise them. Uh, if you don't need money, you can lower them, and that gets your city growth uh, going quicker. People want to move where they're low taxes. Makes sense, correct? Uh, we have a loan option. I'm going to go ahead and pay this, because we don't need any loans right now. We have almost a half a million dollars still. And everything is looking pretty nice uh, over here in Victoria Square. We still have this entire area over here to expand Victoria Square. But we don't need any residential demand. We just need a little bit of commercial uh, and a little bit more industry. So let's go ahead and go up here and check out Elizabeth Farm. How are we doing here? We can probably add a few things. I think we can get a couple more crop fields. So we're going to go to our standard industry road, and we're going to run another road along the back side here and add some crop fields over to this area so that we can get some more workers. Let's go ahead and add three of these, just like we did on the other two roads. Um, hmm, that might put us too close. Maybe we want to do something else there. Uh, I think we're good for right now. Maybe we'll figure out another plan later, but I think that's good. And then we're going to go to our inspector tool and change the appearance from greenhouse to wheat so that everything matches. Oh, that's not what I want to do. There we go. Now, we've got three more plots of uh, wheat growing in this area. How's our traffic situation holding up? You see... All these cars are jerking over. That's because there's a node there. And that's how this game works, and it's kind of annoying. Uh, the traffic changes on specific nodes. And sometimes whenever you're building a road, it, you'll just have so much congestion there. It's best just to delete the road out completely and then rebuild it in one line. Uh, because that means you've done too many little sections and there's a node here and a node here or something. There's a node in a place that it shouldn't be. Now this is one road. This, you know, rebuilding this isn't going to change anything. Uh, that node's going to be there. And that's where people are going to change lanes. And that's the AI problems that, that cause some traffic, traffic backup. Uh, but, you know, what are you going to do? We could, you can see, I would say 90% of these people coming off of that road are going on the highway. We could put a carrier lane just straight to the highway. But I think for right now, we're doing all right. We don't need to worry about that too much. This area isn't going to expand anymore. This exit uh, for the industry, the farmland, the commercial, and Oak Park, Thornton Park, and Grove Park, Grove District, this isn't going to grow anymore. We're done with this area. It is closed out. Uh, we can actually go through and beautify a lot of it by adding some of more of the parks and trees and stuff that I wanted to do. However, that gets pretty boring on film. Not that this is all that much better. <laughs> We're just kind of waiting for a growth. Uh, and that's that's kind of it's kind of the name of the game. Uh, at this point, you're just waiting for your city to grow to get to the next milestone so that you can add more things. Uh, however, we have unlocked a couple things we haven't added yet. We can add our hospital. Uh, we have just one little bitty um, medical center over there. So let's go ahead and add a hospital to the map. Let's check our medical, see how we're doing. How's our health care? Average health 61, six citizens four. We're gonna go ahead and add a hospital. Uh, we'll put the hospital, I, I have envisioned putting the hospital over here next to this commercial district, uh, which one gives, um, gives the people visiting the hospital something to go do. Uh, I don't like how that looks. Let's see, we might move this more close to the park. Yeah, let's move this more close to the park. Again, I know it's a waste of money, but we have plenty. Uh, let's go ahead and move to there. And that levels up the land a little bit more. And then we'll go ahead and real quick, just kind of 
level this terrain back here. Try and get it to... Oh, what am I leveling to? Nope. I want to level to this down here. Yeah. Just kind of get it to slope off a little bit less. There we go. Something more like that. And then it kind of gradually slopes up instead of these sharp ridges. There we go. That looks much better. Looks much more realistic. Um, yeah, that looks good. We're good with that. Uh, I'm not good with that. I want to get this fridge down. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that ridge is there, but we're going to leave it. I think it's part of the building. Um, the way the building's set. Because it's in a little valley. But anyway, there's our hospital. Now, at the end of our uh, shopping district, you have our hospital. So, not only is there a hospital supplying the entire town now, but whenever you go to the hospital, you can also visit all the shops. If you know, you're just visiting someone in the hospital, you can go to the other side of town. You can go check out the park, the statue of shopping. Go see other parts of the city that you haven't experienced. Got another fire. Okay, so you can see, again, much like our fish problem, not enough fish, we have not enough raw materials. Now, what happened there? That truck, I'm assuming that truck, farm truck, that truck just unloaded enough raw materials to get that business going again. Now, over here at the bakery, not enough raw materials. Watch when this goes away. If it goes away. <laughs> we should have a farm truck coming from the uh, flour mill over to the bakery to drop off flour so that they can continue to bake. Might take a while. Maybe we shouldn't just watch this. <laughs> Might as well throw in a few plugs. Thank you for joining the channel, CCSC. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I try and put out as many of these videos as I can. Life sometimes gets in the way, as I'm sure you know. Um, we really appreciate having you here. Uh, I got a comment the other day that was absolutely just wonderful. Uh, it uh, really gives a purpose to the videos. Uh, whenever I get a comment like this, uh, it was from Dwayne. Um, Dwayne left me a great comment two days ago about uh, following the Blackwoods map in Season 1. Uh, thank you very much, Dwayne. Um, yeah, leave a comment. It really gives a, a purpose to these videos. If you enjoy what I'm doing, it, it gives a drive to make more. And I don't know when we're going to see this truck that I'm talking about here. My whole point of this was to quickly show you how... You will import raw materials if you need. There it is. I think that's it. Nope. All right. We have reached Big Town. Big Town Milestone. Finally, 7,500 people. And why I say finally, I will show you very soon. Big Town Milestone, you have high-density residential. High-density commercial. Those are the tall buildings. Those are apartment buildings. Those are tall uh, commercial buildings downtown. That is where you, your city just starts to shoot up like a rocket on a graph. Um, this is where you really get your population going. Uh, we can now buy another two kilometer by two kilometer square tile of land. We can build campus areas. Uh, I've done a few video on campus areas. We will probably put a college campus in this area. Uh, there's two options for colleges. You either have just the preset little building, uh, which takes up about as much room as a high school. And it's not realistic at all. Or you can build an entire campus area. That's part of the campus DLC. Um, if you don't have that DLC, go buy all the DLCs. They're, they're so much better. They make the gameplay so much more fun. Um, we also have any inner city bus, trade school. So there's three, four different, four different campuses. Uh, liberal arts, trade school, university. I think just three. Three different campuses. Um, we'll show you what they are real quick. You can also implement IT clusters. IT clusters is a new office specialization, and IT clusters is what gives the very tall buildings. Uh, high density residential and commercial, those are like 12 story buildings. The IT clusters, those are like 50 foot, 50 story buildings, uh, 80 story buildings. Those are the tall ones you see on the horizon. 
Um, and those are the specialization of office. Office is a subset of your industry. Educational boost, these are all the new policies we have. We can go down a little bit quicker. We're not even doing policies. There's a high density residential, high density commercial. Not that we're not trying to do policies. I just, just now implemented the smoke detector, so clearly I'm not. There's the new building. That's the university. So, let me show you what I mean real quick. We're gonna go ahead and pause the game. I don't know when this bus is gonna come over here. This van's gonna come over here to give... But you get the gist. If you don't have it, someone else will deliver it. They'll order it from another city. There are several other cities uh, on these maps that you can't see. When you implement airports or buses, uh, inner, inner city buses and inner city airports, uh, you can click on the plane or the bus or whatever, and it'll say, I'm going to San Rico or whatever other city is in the area. Uh, so it'll order things from those cities. Now, back to what I was talking about with the education. So this is your university. This is the preset university that came with the original gameplay. And you can see it's no bigger than a hospital. That's not a university. That's, that's, it's a high school, you know? It's not big enough to be really a university. So if you have the campus DLC, which again, please go buy, you can make an entire campus area. Uh, there is trade school campus area, and with the trade school campus, you can do school of engineering uh, and police academy. And actually, school of engineering, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Uh, and police academy. You can also do... Oh, those, those are... Okay, the only one that we have right now is trade school. Uh, the one to the right of us is liberal arts, and then the one to the right of that is university. So you have three options for your different uh, campuses. Now, whenever you're doing those, we'll cover all this in another episode, but whenever you're doing those, you just, again, like the Farmland uh, Industries DLC, you just paint the area, and then whenever you put down this campus main building, Trade School Administration building, you can either put down a Trade School Administration building, your Liberal Arts Administration building, or a University Administration building, and that will identify the area as what you want to go. Um, and then, so you can have all three campuses on your map. Uh, I've done it in maps previously. However, uh, it takes up a lot of room. Uh, campuses are pretty big. So we probably won't do all three in this episode, or in this uh, series. We'll probably just do one. But that is the new milestone of Big Town, 7,500 population. We can do a whole lot in the next episode. Um, I think we're going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for joining the channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. And... We appreciate you coming and joining us and watching our videos so much. Please leave a comment below and let me know if you enjoy the videos as well. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this is CCSC, and we'll see you next time.